Hello, I am Mallory and I am Miss Fort Worth's Outstanding Teen and I wanted to come on here a little bit just to talk about how having an active and healthy lifestyle is something that is super important to me, um, being a teenage girl, being a student, and being a title holder, um, which are all three very important things to me. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was food. Food is something that I, I try to keep myself very clean on. And while I don't have a super strict diet, because I do love sometimes to indulge in things like cereal, or I love indulging in Chick-fil-A occasionally, um, I love eating foods that make my body feel clean and refreshed, um, as a, a bowl of cereal would not do. So I love eating things like boiled chicken and broccoli. I love eating roasted vegetables. Um, I love eating all of those types of things. And for breakfast, I started working with Brian Atterbury who has been extremely helpful in the process of getting super fit and strong from his Texas. Um, but he gave me this diet that has been very eye-opening because I see like oatmeal. I, for some reason, always had this prenotation that if I had oatmeal, like maybe that wasn't the best thing I could do for me, myself. And I did go through a phase where I was like, well, I'm just not going to have breakfast because... I don't eat breakfast. And so it's little things like that that I have come to the realization are very important. So eating oatmeal for breakfast, um, all of these things have played a very important role in my life as a as a teenage girl, like I mentioned before, but as a student and a title holder. Um, so something else that is super important to me is water. I'm always drinking water. If it's not in my hands, it is right next to me. Um, I have found that water makes me feel refreshed, but it also makes me look refreshed. So obviously I'm wearing makeup right now because I'm about to do an interview with Sydney Park, who was Miss New York. Um, but when I'm not wearing makeup, I have noticed this huge difference in my skin. It's kind of more glowy and my skin tone even, which is kind of odd, but I swear it's the water. Um, I've tried to drink at least a, a lot of water. Um, I don't know how many ounces this is, <laughs> which is why I paused. But I try to drink at least five of these a day, um, if not more. Because I found, and water is just, it, it tastes very good, especially when you have the best ice in it. That sounds a little dumb too, but I love ice in my water. So when you have good ice and good water, it just makes for a perfect match. Um, something else that is important to me, but I am working on getting better at, especially in the summer, is my sleep schedule. Um, I try to at least get eight hours, but sometimes when I'm hanging out with my friends and they want to hang out and stay up late, it's hard for me to do that. But staying healthy with my sleep is very important because it puts me in a better mood and it, it also makes my skin feel more refreshed and it makes me feel feel fueled for the day. That's a little bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> um, so then obviously exercise is the next big topic, um, which I think most people, when you hear an active lifestyle or a healthy lifestyle, you think of exercise. Um, for me, I don't go to the gym every single day of my life because I don't think that that's necessarily a lifestyle. Um, I think that that to me sounds like more of a chore in a sense. And so that's why I have found things that when I'm not going to the gym those three times a week, I can do. So some things that I love to do are ride bikes with my mom. Um, we got bikes over quarantine. It was a really good deal. And we have been riding those every single day, even if I go to the gym. Um, I love going on runs um, in the morning and I love going on walks with my dogs. Marley and Tinker and Liberty. I love that. Um, but something else that's my huge passion is surfing. So um, when I go out to the lake, I'm always wake surfing and I'm working on new tricks constantly. Um, my 360 is something that I recently got or it was last summer, the closing of last summer. So we're going back to the lake and I'm working on getting that really polished up. Um, but working on tricks like that and doing other other things such as that um, are things that always keep me going and keep me healthy in a sense, I guess, because it's it's giving me a goal and it's giving me something to work towards. And um, surfing is something that is, is really good for my legs and my core and just everything. So by having goals for myself and working towards those goals, like my 360, polishing that up, I'm on the surfboard. If I fall, I'm right back up because I'm like, no, I'm going to get that 
goal. I'm going to get that 360 polished. Um, so it's things like that. It's constantly setting goals for myself and finding ways to stay healthy in, in different creative ways that I like. So, um, and then most importantly to me are, is, is the aspect of like my mind, my soul, and my attitude. Um, I've, I've mentioned not making things feel like a chore to me because if I tell myself I have to go to the gym every single day for this amount of time and do this and this and this, it feels like a chore to me. And so that's why my attitude is something that is so important. Keeping keeping things fun and fresh and new, um, finding new goals like I was talking about in surfing. All of these things are so important to keep my attitude and my outlook on life and my active lifestyle very positive. And so I think that the greatest thing about me is not that I have this constant workout plan or this constant meal plan. It's that I have this constant attitude of striving towards a better healthier and active lifestyle and I think that that is why um, I think I'm a good fit for the scholarship just because I'm always striving to find new ways to inspire myself and inspire other or others around me to come get on this active lifestyle journey with me and I hope that y'all will see that through this bye